Hey guys, Engineer Wannabe here. Today we're going to be doing a double unboxing. And there's a bit of a story that will go before this double unboxing. But uh, before that, let me do my wristwatch check. It is the, gr uh, the r Omega, not the Grand Seiko, the Omega Railmaster uh, 1957 uh, limited edition. So uh, this is relevant to the story. Uh, basically, uh, so the, the Cliff Notes, because I, I feel like a lot of you guys already know the story, but the Cliff Notes uh, version of the story is that I got the Railmaster, and for some reason it competed with my Grand Seiko SBGJ201. That's the Mount Iwate uh, High Beat Spring Drive. And it competed with it uh, pretty badly. Basically, I, uh, I put the Railmaster on, I enjoyed it, and then I put the Grand Seiko on. And it just felt like a really clumsy, really big watch with uh, disproportionate uh, dimensions. And it, it was really a, a jarring experience. And, uh, and we've talked about it, right, in, in some of the live streams. Um, but now, I, uh, I, it happened again. Uh, and I ended up going and uh, trading that Grand Seiko in and I came back with two watches um, But yeah, we can talk about that more uh, when we get to the watches So let's go ahead and flip the camera and do that. Okay guys. So like I said, there is uh, two watches here and uh, I am really looking forward to uh, to showing this off to you guys. Uh, let's start with uh, probably the more popular one um, That's this guy the Tudor um, I have not, I don't think I'll mention it in the title, so, uh, this will be a bit of a surprise for you guys as well. Um, this was not the watch I was going for, but, uh, it was there, and I've kind of, uh, this watch has kind of eluded me, as well as when I did get the opportunity to buy one, I didn't really take it, uh, but this time everything kind of, uh, you know, lined up in a good way, but it's the Tudor Black Bay 58. Uh, this is the navy blue. Now, at the time of this recording, I still prefer the black bay black, but I am getting a bit, uh, um, you know, I, I've got this guy, which is the Railmaster, and I think, uh, you know, the black bay black would not, um, black bay 58 black uh, would not go as uh, as well in my, my collection, I mean, if I were to keep them. Uh, but uh, this was the, the one that, that came up. Unboxing is uh, really, really basic. Uh, we've uh, we've done a lot of tutors on the channel. Uh, there's nothing in here. Basically, it's a, a spot for your spare links. There used to be a free, um, free NATO style strap that came with the previous Black Base. That doesn't happen anymore. Um, but here it is, guys. There's a couple of stickers. And Black Bay 58. Really nice sized watch. Now this was the the one that I'm at, again at the time of this recording. I'm more excited about this guy. Um, I am, you know, an unashamedly huge Grand Seiko fan, and this I think is the the ultimate watch. And it I, it's a it's a drop in replacement to my um, 44 GS GMT. So it's going to be 44 GS, but since the thickness bugged me so much on the 44GS, I went with a quartz 44GS. And I think this is the way this watch or this case was intended to be worn. Uh, nice and thin, you know, 10 millimeters thick, 40 millimeter diameter watch. Yes, it's two-tone and I, I do really like two-tone. Um, the I do like that the bracelet is not two-tone, so it's a bit toned down. Um, but, of course, uh, I believe this will stay on a strap for the most part, unless if I feel like putting it on a bracelet, but this will be uh, uh, going on a strap. It'll get sized, and then I'll put the, the bracelet away, most likely. But this is the SBGV238. It's a uh, 25th anniversary 9 of quartz piece. Um, so it's got the yellow gold and steel. Um, 9F82 caliber, which you can see in the back. So this is a, a huge drawing point uh, for me, the fact that you can see your 9F86, which is very, very rare uh, to be able to, to see this. There we go. Okay. Look at that. 
So it's a limited edition of 600 pieces. Listing says that the battery was put in 2018 March. So it's been three years and I don't know if the battery has been replaced since then, but it seems to be going strong. Uh, it has a really nice uh, texture to the dial. It's got uh, GS, GS, GS. I got the five pointed star here, which means it's a um, five seconds per year uh, accurate quartz movement. So just so that this wasn't a complete waste of time for you guys, I did do the uh, the measurements on this. So it's a 39 millimeter diameter watch, 47 and a half millimeters lug to lug. The lug width is 20 millimeters and the thickness is 12 millimeters. So uh, let's go ahead and take these stickers off. Let's take a look at that really nice polishing. Oh, it's interesting that uh, Tudor actually put that barcode on that sticker. They used to put it right on the metal. I'm glad they don't anymore. All right, well, uh, I'm not going to put you through watching all the little stickers come off, but this is the Tudor Black Bay 58. And this is the Grand Seiko SBGV double, uh, sorry, SBGV 238. So I'm pretty happy with these. Um, I'm not sure if this one will stick around. This one um, I'm really thrilled with. I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like on a strap. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you all are well and, and staying safe out there. And uh, remember, guys, time is short. Uh, and I uh, hope you take care. You guys are valuable to me. You guys are um, very precious. So have a great day wherever you may be. Take care, guys. Bye.